Lil Dirt locked up by the feds. I'm not sure if y'all heard, but this man was arrested and charged for a hit in retaliation of King Von's death. That wasn't in the King Von story I saw. <laughs> hey, that's a bad story, dude. I put this on everything. Party people, I love this. It's your boy, my face, Anna. My clothes were yeah. out this dress. I thought I told you this is my world, baby. Party people in the place to be. It's your boy, M A Z. I. 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 You back in here? Soundboard lit. That was epic. You know what I mean? <laughs> Episode yeah. nine nine. Nine nine for the Huh? One hundred. Shh. We're creeping up there, man. It's on the way, man. Only right that we had to get two of the two. The bears. Yeah. The bears. The bears, the bears, the bears, the bears. Bad yeah. news bears in <laughs> here. One nine. Spy MC. Kaiser, what's going on, man? Shout out to Mike Dicker. Hey, appreciate you uh, yeah. having us up here. Oh, come on, man. In here, Only out right. here. Full house? Oh, yeah, no, we got a pack house tonight, for sure. Whole lot of people. Uh, uh, Lambo in the cut, as always. The fan favorite, you'll be back. Yes, yes, the fan favorite will be back. She thinks we playing, but we not. Nah, like, nah, I got a text message the other day saying, like, how good she is on the pod. And I feel we, bad and, for and you, dog. needed her. I feel <laughs> Nah, look. That's wild. It is. It's kind of wild for them to be like, say? "Watch hey, your mouth." Hey, hey, your <laughs> wife, bro. <laughs> they like, your wife is dope on the pot. Yo, watch your mouth. <laughs> watch your mouth. <laughs> nah, I know it's all love. This is from family and all that. But yeah. well, um, J. Ross, weekly views in here. You know what I mean? Let's go. Streets is watching. Out here, uh, got your Gotham fit over there. We'll talk about that later. J. Wayne. Let's go. Uh, and of course. Squirrels. Grills. What's going on, bro? Hey, we here, man. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. <laughs> Let the streets know why you frustrated, dog. Bro, it's a lot a lot of work goes into Yes. The production of this and then celebrating the hundredth, but I ain't even mad at it. Yeah, for sure. Gotta work to get there. Yeah. Already? The more you know. <laughs> It's like the Avengers assembled up. Actually, in this. we <laughs> saw that. Too. That's, you saw the, I saw that side of Rainbow too. The more you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. For sure. Q, and Q floating star. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and before we get started with the conversation, man, RIP to DJ Clark Kent. Um, we definitely lost a, a hip hop pioneer, hip hop legend, and also beloved in the uh, sneaker community as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, RIP. Definitely a tough loss, man. Yeah, I guess moment of silence, huh? All right. Back to schedule programming. Doing this for you, Clark Kent. Hip hop. Yeah. Hip hop, hip hop. Bro, we got to set the vibes, man. Set me right, man. Pause. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, yo, screw. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> I said, whoa. At what age is that like? Hey, you get it, bro. No, no. <laughs> yo, I think it goes on forever, bro. Yeah, like, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're honest, right. It goes on forever. And, and, and I'm part of the battle rap community, I'll man. It's, it's in canny. You, you, know can't, know say you can't say nothing no more. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't even have words. I like the sax. <laughs> Classic. Classic. R.P. Biggie. So you said DJ Clark Kent produces? The Notorious B.I.T. He produced this record. Wow. This record's tough. Oh. They, they back in the studio. Yeah. Back, yeah, for sure. They back in the studio. I like that. When I was young, I had two male leads. Mm. Besides that, the pink mm. stripes in the gray. Uh -huh. The one I wore on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh -huh. While niggas flirt, I'm sewing tigers on my shirt. An alligator. I see the inside. She, I'll see you later. <laughs> Why you punch me in my face? Stay in your place. Come on. Uh huh. Go in this nigga pocket. Rob him while his friends watching. The hoes clock. Here comes respect. His crew's your crew. Well, they might be next. Uh huh. Look at they man. Ah. Big man. They never try. So we roll with them. Stole with them. I mean loyalty. Niggas bought me milks at lunch. The milks with chocolate. The cookies. What a crunch. Oscars and blue and white duck. Sing it, Slim. Man. I can't believe the dealer was behind all this. <laughs> behind all these great legendary records, dog. Crazy. I didn't hear one mumble. None at I all. I understood everything. <sighs> back, go. back when 
Never mind. Let me, let me not say it. Come on, come, say it on, man. I, I don't, don't want to be that old head on come the front on, porch. Unk. You know what hey, I'm saying? Unk. I am Unk out here now. Um, dog, that was back when music was just, it meant something. Get off my lawn. You know, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But that's what music meant something. There was something in the records, you know what I mean? And, and Big was nice with it. Like, how inspirational is Sky's the Limit? Like, yeah, that, that was, uh, you can hear the passion. Yes. For sure. You can hear the like passion the in the beat. Too. You could hear the passion in the written. Yeah. Yes. And then overall, you know, you right. could you could feel the studio basically yeah. when you're right. listening to records like that for sure. For sure. Cause even just sitting as as a producer, sitting and hearing all the sounds and stuff that was created on that record, I'm just like, yo, I know the studio session was crazy. Or just to engineer them would be crazy. Yes. You know what I mean? I just enjoy I, I was listening to a Biggie reference of Players Anthem, which is another Clark Kent beat. It's probably my favorite uh, beat, but it is him doing all the verses, I guess, like the reference of his vocals. Yeah. And then it was Lil C's verse, his verse, and I think I want, I want to say it was Lil Kim's verse. Yeah. It's just crazy hearing the reference, being able, to, if you were the engineer to have access to all that, it's, it's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, you know, yeah, matter of fact, let me ask that question. Skrills, you included. If you was a fly in the room, what studio, what studio session would you want to sit in on? Like, ex like just in general? In general. Mm. I would love to sit in on a lot of the only built for Cuba Link sessions. Mm. It seems like that would be cool as well. Yeah, I, I was gonna mention some sort of Wu Tang. Yeah, yeah. just to see Riz's right process sure. on that project. Right, in like it seems crazy. Like the writing process, from what I understood, they wrote it out of the country. Um, but like the production part of that is is really crazy. Right, part of that. Mm. it seems like Riza has like a backbone. Uh, and and I could be wrong, like a, of the track, and then they'll record it, and then he comes back and does other and extra builds stuff on it, and, right? Yeah. So I heard that's what he did with Old Dirty. So those would be crazy sessions. Like actually, Return of the Thirty Six Chambers would probably be a really cool album to be a fly on the wall. Yeah, because from what I understand, Old Dirty just goes in there and raps, and then he pieces all that stuff together, and then did the album. Matter of fact, that's probably the only album I know that has a recap. In the album. Me and Darby were talking about it was a, it, Yeah, it's just like a recap. Yeah. The, it's like, that's cool as hell. So I, actually, Return of the 36 Chambers yeah. would probably be a cool one to be a fly. Spider C, yeah. you said the same thing. A Wu Tang album? Uh, yeah, or? some sort of Wu Tang album. I mean, probably into, into yeah. 36 into, for yeah. sure. Yeah. You know, like that just sounds. Uh, that's a lot of rappers. That's a lot For of sure. that's a lot of uh creativity. Yes. You know, whether it's planned or unplanned, you know, however it happened, I just like uh it's a crazy album. For, For sure. sure. You know. Legendary yep. album for sure. Skrills. Man, I think as y'all was saying that, I think um being in that one session, I, I imagine there was a lot of sessions, but being in the session where big did suicidal thoughts mm. would probably have been like yeah I was gonna say because like even like spitting the, those lines from suicidal out the thoughts and out the gate you just kind of yeah. like when I die fuck it I, I want to go, go to hell, hell. so big, I'm a piece of big. shit it ain't hard to fucking tell yeah, yeah. I know the engineer probably looked at Puff like hey checking your man yo you he good <laughs> <laughs> He good, you know? Mm. And then I said, him coming out, I mean, that's that's what made Ready to Die so good. Incredible. As great as it was. Yeah, for sure. How about you, Muzzy? Oh, man. I can guess, but I'm not. <sighs> you going to say a, a G unit project. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as good. as, as much good. as I want to say Banks is hungry for more, it's not that. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll be honest, man. Probably Blueprint. Ooh. Jay's Blueprint. Because from what I understood, they had two different production rooms. One for right. Just Blaze and one for Kanye. Exactly. That's freaking nuts. And, 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 and wow. story, and story goes, they did that on a weekend. Yeah. That's that's crazy. The whole record? The, the whole album. They did the whole album in a weekend. I mean, it could be, be done. It could be done, but for it to be that, as far as that quality. Yeah. To arguably his best project. Mm -hmm. It's I think maybe often not spoke about it enough is like the intent to... Knowingly have Kanye in one room, Blaze in another, right, and have the intent of like we knocking this shit out this weekend type thing, right. That's, and then, and then go take it to what was his name, hip hop, the engineer, their right. their in house engineer to go mix it and just sit down and just or even more so fucks up my head even more if it, there was no intent, it was just like hey, pull up, pull up, and just you happen to stumble on like one of the greatest albums ever, right. Oh my god, I love I love hip hop, man, I love it. Yeah. So for those who's been living under a rock. Who are the Bad News Bears? <sighs> well, you got the mad scientist, Kaiser. I do what I can. Man, Stop it, man. Man's behind man. the beats. 
and it's crazy with the rap. Exactly, which is which is unheard. Sometimes of. at the same time, yeah. right? Yeah, I seen you. I seen it. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, yeah, yeah, on a live show, right? Which is insane. Uh, I saw it at the Vel Nye show. Yes, yeah. most recently. Right, and and while we're on the topic here, and not to cut you off, spot, but um, there is always a question here where people juggle too many hats. Yeah. As far as you know, rhyming and producing. If you could, if you could do both well, it's rare. Oh yeah. But something's got to slack. Something usually slacks. You know what I mean? Has something, to, something usually. suffers. You guys are the outlier, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you because your beats are hard, yeah. and the rhymes are just as crazy as the beats too. Yeah. So salute to you for that, man. Because nice, that's nice. it's it's a it's a feat that it's not hard to do. Or, yeah. He's got his own sound. I mean, not I mean it's hard to do. It's of, not easy to production do. Production too. It's not like yes. Cookie yeah. cutter, copy and paste type of. I'm making beats that I heard and listened to. Right, like, and he, I'm listen, I'm listen his to beats the... are unique. As somebody who, yeah, we're bad news bears, but Spy MC myself as someone who does rap over his beats and has yeah. been working with him for many years, way right. before Bad News Bears. Like his beats have always been dope and have gotten better and better. Right, but like that. It still had that same unique and creative, you know, taste of his own, his own style. You know, right. and it's like they're. They can't be copied. Thanks, man. I, I, I shit, I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, if, really if, if nobody that. told you, uh, no, no, thank you very much. <laughs> I didn't know man, that. That's oh, that's why wow. we bad news bears. Though. Yeah, and, and then and then hey, from from cool. a from a producer's um, perspective too, like I hate using jealous or yeah. envy. You know what I mean? But from a producer, I'm just like, I hear certain beats and I'm like, I could have did a better flip than that. Yeah. Or I could have did this better. I would have took this. I would have took that. But dog, your chops. Oh, thanks, man. The way you chop shit, I'm just like. See, I think about it. From <laughs> you know a, I think about it from a rapper standpoint. That's yeah. the thing. Like, I because I come from that rapper shit. Like, yeah. I was a rapper before a producer. So I think about like that mixtape era of a uh, mm. rapper and what they were rapping on. Like, they they rap on the breaks, and and that's where I came from. Right. So I, I try to incorporate that with the sound design, with the music as well. Yeah. So it's when you listen to my projects, that they sound like a mixtape. Like, but it's a full length project. Sort right. Of thing. So. I try to emulate that as much as I can from a rapper to a producer standpoint. Like what I want to rap on this beat is is how I look at it. And I think that's just a motto. Nice, man. Let's go. And then Spy MC, of course, we can't forget about you. You're the second half of Bad News Bears. Man, uh, yeah, you know, rapper, promoter, battle league owner. Um, Talk about it. I, I do a lot of things. You know, the whole jack of all trades, master of none does not necessarily fall under you know i don't fall under that category i just was good at certain things and kept doing that and yeah. became i mean i'm not the best but i'm pretty damn great at what i do you know outside of just rapping you know like i mean i'm okay rapper too i'm an okay rapper too, i'll be you know? honest you can stop with the fake humbleness no, you know? <laughs> let's be real because there's a lot of people that try to do the battle league stuff and they and they copy off of you you're the yeah. blueprint i mean you know loudmouth league is the league i've been running for tw 12 years 12 years, yeah. Talk about it. Wow. Started it at the end of uh, 2011. Before that, I was running Grind Time Minnesota. Um, once the, you know, basically like that, the league kind of went under, mm -hmm. I was sitting on a bunch of events of footage, created Loudmouth League with three other people in Minnesota. Yeah. And, you know, here we are now, November 16th, the 12 year anniversary. Talk about it. Crazy, 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 man. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, but outside of that, you know, music, this rap stuff, touring, traveling, trying to, you know, perform rap in front of as many people as possible, reach every part of, uh, you know, the globe as possible that I'm able to perform at in front yeah. of people, you know. Yeah, I mean, we've been, what, working together for way before COVID. Yeah, way before COVID. Uh, it's just we happen to be able to now complete a project, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's bad news. Hard, bears hard is, to know how that goes. Yeah, so mean, so like, bad news just, bears is technically a project that uh, we ended up having like what twenty something songs. Yeah. After like six years, maybe. Sheesh. And it was just him. It was supposed to be just my beats, spy rapping, and then when we started formulating this joint, I was like, dude, I need to start rapping. Anyway. And that was this and year, I was right? Like, this shit sounds banging. And I, yeah. I, I started right into it, and I was like, That's okay, hard. we're just gonna work it like. And I, I think I like uh, the Vel yeah. Nine show was like our first like uh, kind of performance kind of, together. Yeah. I mean, we've been performing together for a bit, but Bad News Bears wasn't really started until yeah. 
after that you know we didn't have the name or anything like that but you know once that uh got formulated you know just went running through it you know now we got a project that we we're gonna drop first before the end of the year seven track project called the great outdoors yeah um Features uh, Creed 23, Henry B. Here we, which we hear right Bad now. One. Yeah. yeah. So this, this is a single off of that project? Yeah, it's called Bear With Us. Um, and of course, you know, for those that don't know what uh, Bear County is, you know, if you're looking at the word, you probably be like, yo, what's bad? Bexar. The, the, the bad news, Bexar. <laughs> Bexar is like, nah, it's Bear County. Bear County, So man. Uh, it's, it's pronounced bear. bear. But yeah. Uh, yeah, bad news bears, you know, bear with us, same thing. Bexar with us. <laughs> Bexar. Fully. Sure. Fully. Yeah. But now, yeah, that one's available at uh, spymc.bandcamp.com. Yeah. Um, we'll release everything on all platforms once we drop the project. No no uh, projected date yet, but okay. you know, it'll, it'll be, be this year. This it, year no. for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, because uh, I think Skrill slid the project to me, not saying we bootlegged it or nothing like that. But, you know, right. I just happened to get a copy. I get a hold, I got a hold of the project. That's some bad yeah. news, bad <laughs> shit to do, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a job requirement. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> shout out Who Kid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but, uh, yeah, so I, I got to skim the project, you know, before y'all came up here. And, uh, yeah, I, I like it. Thanks. I like it a lot, man. Hell yeah. Definitely my wheelhouse, you know, the, the beats, the rhymes. I'm I'm with it. And of course, Cree twenty three, I know she about to she about to knock my head off, but she's always every time you're in the room or y'all's got something involved, she's around the corner, I feel. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But I know with just rap, she's hit me a couple of times like, you know I'm supposed to be on there, right? And I was like, I don't want no, I want no problems. I don't want no, I want no smoke. I don't want no smoke, Creed. <laughs> I got you, sis. I, I came here for all the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I plan to get her on there, man, sometime for sure. Because she's dope. Yeah. I've been watching her Cree, for a minute. Creed is dope. dope, but I ain't going to lie to her. I feel like if I'm around her, I wanna, I'm going to want to get like enlightened. Oh, and, like, and, and be like, yo, you know what? <laughs> Don't kill that fly, right? <laughs> right? Like, it got a life too. Well, I mean, right. we, we we can't be a fly on the wall in the studio if we kill right. flies now, you know. Facts. Oh my god, we about to be here all night, screw. Hey, <laughs> yeah, drop, drop his jewels like this. <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah, so, but no, nah, I just want to tell you that the, the project sounds great, man. I, I like, I like what y'all do sure. with it. It's dope. It's dope for sure. Hell nice. yeah, appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, we actually can't wait to drop it for everybody to hear it. Yeah. Um, and it's coming in multiple sequences. Yeah, Real, okay, we actually, talk about uh, that because we have so many tracks, right? And we're probably gonna add some new ones. Get some. Uh, we already technically have all the features, but mm-hmm. you know. You know how hip hop is. We'll probably get some some more, yeah. especially with all these uh, shows and you know tours coming up that I got. You got a show coming up in El Paso, right? Tomorrow, oh. yeah. Rocking with um, Jaron Benton, Demrick, and uh, Locksmith. Locksmith. Yeah. Look at them name drops. Screws, you heard all that? Hey. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey. It's right there, right? There it is. That's and the then, fly right there. Hey, yeah. And then we got one right after that. Uh, November seventh with the Guilty Simpson yeah. here in San Antonio, Ooh. five two bar. Yeah. Yo, Guilty Sense is pulling up to the city? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be yeah. nice. Hey, man. That's going to wow. be nice. I'm, 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 a, I'm a Guilty Sense of fan, so yeah. like, yeah, so, nah, that's nice. dope. Uh, this is the opportune time to get to something that we've been meaning to ask you. Yes, girls, let's, let's tackle this, bro. And for those that don't know, like, oh, yeah, we've sure. been meaning to get with Spy. Kaiser, I've known I've known of you for a while now. Shout yeah. out to Ty, one. Yes. Um, but, like, I... There's a conversation I think that we need to have right now, and we don't got to get super deep, but I definitely want y'all's input. It's Mazi. a setup. <laughs> <laughs> Mazi, it's a trap. If you want to kick up. it off. <clears throat> so, the question is, um, why does it feel like there are only two hip hop scenes here locally? I I, I want to say one thing before this might be kind of part of it, but the northwest side of San Antonio, if, if San Antonio was New York, it'd be Queens, New York. Oh, okay. So okay. that could be I, look, part I, I, of it. I didn't know where you were taking it. I was like, yo, wait, wait. That could be part of it right there. Yeah. Um, I think the Northwest side has a different sound of hip hop in general. But yes, I do believe that there's two hip hop scenes here. Yeah. And it's always been like that mm-hmm. um, since probably like the 90s. It's mm. maybe three or four different hip hop scenes. But yes, there's definitely different factions. So I think, because obviously here, where we're saying here in the question is 50 50. Yeah. There's two. And if you ask me, it's. The the backpacker scene, the lyrical ones, and then there's the mainstream side where everybody's trying to do what's hot right now. Yeah, right. But here's the number I came up with: forty six percent is 
the mainstream side that's trying to do what's hot, chasing what's what's hot right now, trying to catch that single. The other 46 is the Bad Packer scene, lyrical ones that, you know, is really, you know, rapping their asses off. And then there's the 8%. And the 8% is the artist that can do both. Yeah. And really know their sound. And I think it really just takes one record and they're fucking out of here. Mm. Whether that's singing, you know, like the R&B, rap, hip hop, what, whatever it is, whatever artist that, you know, that as far as knowing their sound, experiment with a little bit and they found it. Yeah. And they really build on it. Yeah. And that's why they have the the fan base that they do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So um, I know I might take some heat <laughs> on that because there is a lot of people out here that they think they're dope, but they're chasing a sound that's hot. And it's like, yo, why would you jump in line with everything that's hot right now? Because now you're going to be... There's no originality in it's, that, it's not. Yeah, there's know? no originality. Like, now you sound was, like this dude. It's kind of been like that, though. I mean, um, what was it? Like in the early 2000s? A lot of our accents came from Houston and shit. Yes, like um, and nobody really wants to say that, but that's I mean, the truth. Did. Like we, we're also like a military city, if you really think about it. So there's a lot of it's it's a melting pot of sorts, and that's kind of reason why I said that if San Antonio was New York, Northwest, I would be Queens because we have all these different like cultures in that particular area, mm. and that kind of cultivates like that music scene in that area as well. Okay. But I I, I do believe that it's I, there has we have never really had a direct sound that is directly San Antonio. Mm. Um that's what I think we need more than anything. I uh and I think we do have it, but I don't think it's being um how can I say it? it's being delivered to the public. Gotcha. As much as it should be. I mean, uh, Spy, you because you you from here, right? Originally, yeah, I'm from okay. here, and but you... uh, like from 2000 to like 06, right before I moved up to Minnesota, mm-hmm. uh, I was DJing, uh, I was rapping, but I wasn't writing, I wasn't necessarily part of the hip hop scene, I was part of the drum and bass scene, mm. DJing okay. at raves in between here in Austin and all that, but um, I was hitting up like a lot of like the freestyle tournaments and stuff. Um, so I'm not too well versed on the, uh, you know, San Antonio's history gotcha. before 06, you know, and then moved up to Minnesota, was up there for like 2012, till 2012. And then yeah. that's I when I, about 2010, I just started getting familiar because I started hitting up South by and all that. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, it's a lot of us was, was chasing either we was chasing Houston mm-hmm. or we was partying like Dallas. Yeah. But, but there is yeah. also, you like, know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and I agree with you, Mozzie, but I think there's one part of this and that's just cause I grew up in this sector more or less was like we definitely had like a big california los angeles influence yeah, yeah. when yeah. it came to like acts like uh uh they were what were they called poetic vandals and there mm-hmm. was like hooligan boys mm-hmm. and these were all like mexican mostly mexican yeah bone thug sounding yeah type yeah. of groups and shit sure. so like yeah, but they still were i feel like if, if if san antonio ever had quote unquote a sound that was close to being but but even then it was still carbon copy you know what i'm yeah. saying from a lot but yeah I, I agree with kaiser but i do think that there's also maybe even a third scene right mm-hmm. where you do have like the puppets and the the Juan mm. Gotti spm like true cats you know what i'm saying yeah but all that's in, in my opinion it's probably just for my pov but like a lot of that has been swept over by whatever's hot right now yeah because yeah. a lot of them kids that are now in that little dirt and we'll get to that in a minute <laughs> right but in that type of music are like probably the kids of those rappers that right. were doing SPM shit to begin with. Yeah. You feel me? Right. So like, I think at the end of the day though, I just, to Kaiser's point, it's a big melting pot. To me, I used to think, Hey, the key was to get together, but now it's like, I don't think we ever can. Nah. Uh, it, it's unfortunate too. Yeah. I, honestly, I don't think so. I, I think it's fortunate that we're never going to really, I mean, we saw the pop-up shit with Kendrick. Yeah. But that's yeah. a whole different, Thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's different. Every yeah, yeah. every city, okay. So like me, basically cultivating my style and sound in Minnesota when I moved up there. You know, so being here now, mm. now that I've been a part of both hip hop scenes, you know, it's like this everywhere. Mm. You know, yeah, it's not just here. You know, that. and in LA, what they did with the pop up, you know, like that technically can be done anywhere, but it can't if you don't have an artist like that to. Be able to bring people together like that. Right. That's, That's Kendrick true. Lamar, you know, like yes. And, and and while I agree with you, but let's be real, L.A. has a hell of a local scene. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, I want to say, I mean, it can, it can, it can, it can, yes, yes. They have been steady since but the Odd Future movement. Like, Cali has been super steady Bingo. since the Odd Future movement. They haven't, like, uh, it's been crazy since then. Yeah. Um, and in all actuality, that's probably the, mo- the more re- real thing about them. They just, they've always had a scene, but they've been constant since that time. Right. Like, it's kind of hard to beat them. Sure. For sure. And, and But this is where I give credit to Spy and, 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 and the... I mean, I I hate to say it, but it's the only way I can th- formulate it right now. It's like your scene, right? Mm-hmm. The the backpacker scene, if you want to call it that. Like, if there's ever a scene to really get us out of the trenches, it's that it's scene. It's that scene. You because think so? I think so. Huh. Because y'all's scene has the most diverse and most, like, capable artists. And, and, and let's be real. there As far as the crowd showing up, the crowd and that love p- support. That part, Yes. Because let's be real, there's a lot of the the, the mainstream sounding scenes where people, yeah. you know, chase these sounds and trying to sound like Amigos or sound like yes. Boss Man D-Lo or sound like such and such. And we pull to the shows and y'all begging everybody to come to the front. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going, I pull up to a Spy MC, Kaiser show, Giuliani, which it's, is another one, uh, entry, and they they pack the bitch out. Yeah, community. So where are these new spots? I, I haven't seen any of the new, like... San Antonio hip artists. Where are they? Where are they at? Like what? Like locations, clubs, uh, shows. I mean, like, right now, what Southside, Southside, Southeast? Oh, no, not South. What is it? Southwest with Izzy. Yes, I kind of want to see it. I, I don't Izzy, know. Yeah, I, I, Izzy. Yeah, Izzy Nine Three is is one. He has a big name right now. Um, see, Northeast though too is like Northeast. And this is and this yeah. is this is flowers to us, Mozzie. A, a big part of just rap was to reach out to people like y'all. Yeah, someone like Knotts. Like someone like uh, a Bamsworth belly, a uh, Northwest rider, Northwest rider, right? Because I feel bad because I don't know and I should know, and, and that's, that's part of like, what you we're know what trying I mean? to like. Do. I uh, maybe that could be a part of it. Like, there's yeah. not that bridge if you if you understand. Yeah, and I think like, that's another thing too. Is like yeah, the bridge is here. It, yeah, and, and we're trying to build that bridge. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, I hate to even quote Drake because he's. I mean, so he y'all took are, an L right now. But Drake said, you know, the bad packers gonna have to stand next to them hood. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that's what we're trying to do. You know what I mean? So people like even with with y'all's just rap episode, a lot of people hit me that's not in that scene, and they're yeah. like, "Yo, them two went, they, they went crazy." <laughs> yeah, they they really set the bar for season four. Like, yo, y'all got to come with it with season four, and it's like, yeah, yeah like these mm-hmm. guys. But y'all y'all been doing this. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's but that's it shows like just rap where people may have not have seen y'all. Right, right. And now y'all got that because there's that always new fans. Exactly. Yeah. You know, there's always going to be new fans that never heard of you before. Even like big mainstream artists, there's still people that haven't heard of Kendrick even. You right. know, like, I mean, yeah, they're living under a rock or smoking it. But, <laughs> you know, that fact still remains. For you sure. You know, there's still yeah. people that you can reach. And honestly, like, y'all have done a very good job. I mean, Thank I've you. learned about new artists from, you know, from here through y'all, through Just Rap, you know, that I've never heard of before. You know, so, I yeah. mean, like, that's that. You know, keep building that bridge, you know. Appreciate it. And also, I mean, hip hop just in general is vast now. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. I've been rapping in this scene since the '90s, right? And at that time frame in the '90s of rapping, there was only two genres of hip hop: San Antonio that you even saw was early '90s and late '90s. There wasn't even an '80s hip hop scene, from what I understood. Maybe there was, but I never saw it. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. And in the 2000s, 2010s, like you'd still get the mixture between '90s. Now, now we have '90s, 2000s, 2010s. Now 2020s. It's just so vast. That's why I want to know who these these new artists are because yeah. I don't know. Like I'm stuck in my own bubble, but I would love to hear that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. maybe there are like some really dope rappers out there, and I, I'm I'm in it for the bars. At the end of the day, for sure. Uh, I mean the vibe also, but if I hear some fucking bars, I mean I'm always gonna like it regardless. And shit. Yeah. I mean no matter what the production is on it. Yeah, and I think I think to Mozzie's point though, man, he Mozzie has a tendency of of hearing the bars. Yeah, and, and and all kinds of artists, you know what I'm saying. So I think oh, yeah. those that that we and that goes, and I won't get too much into it because that's a whole nother convo. But like that goes into why we're so selective, yes. and, and why we're gonna continue being selective is because a lot of people hit us and it's like, yo, you ain't heard of me? I'm on my shit hot, da da da. Yeah, and it's like, well, apparently not because we, we've heard music. Yeah. yeah, you know, we check everyone's shit out, but like at the end of the day, it's like. We understand what we're doing, and and maybe our reach isn't as big as it's gonna be at some point. But, right. But we're getting in good habits now, where we're not gonna put people on that's gonna just muddy the water. Because I feel like Samsung has been muddied and stepped on for a long time. Long time. And ain't really, we've never really been 
able to have someone come out of the trenches because the mud, the water's so muddy. Right. You know what I mean? Great point, Skrills. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so <clears throat> is, is there any more that y'all want to add to this or? I think because I think we kind of hit the nail on the coffin with this one. I think we yeah, it's it's, it's a whole separate pod. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. All right, man. So we are gonna get to the the Let's question. Get to it, man. What the question for y'all? What's really good? All right, new work. Uh, new segment. <clears throat> What's really good? Um, talk about some of the current events on the pod, man. Uh, the NBA season is back. Yes. Yeah. Um, World Series is here. Um, the what? Come on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Y'all know who I'm rapping. Hey. All right. You know what I mean? Let it be known. Right. What? Right. They're playing baseball right now? Come on, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Get your mitts. <laughs> Dod- Dodgers in the World Series against the Yankees, you know what I mean? West Coast, West Coast, East Coast beef. We back. <laughs> in a good way? In a, in a great way, right? <laughs> um, and then it's crazy because in general, I feel like um, October, is literally the best month for sports in general. Because I never thought about it that basketball way. Basketball being bad, baseball, the playoffs, and then football, obviously. But, you know, football for me, I'm, I don't really pay attention to football too much. I know everybody here is a, a Cowboys fan from what it's, it seems like in San Antonio. Uh, I can care less. We done. Okay. <laughs> right. Crickets. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so are y'all excited to see how Wimby and the new cast of the Spurs are going to do this season? Yeah. Definitely. Um, they got some work to do. You saw oh, yeah, that game last night? I mean, last game. Look, saw listen, that game last night? <laughs> listen, all right. All I'm going to say, Mozzie, is that the kid is 20. Yeah. All right. He was up all night. Someone fucking mad fan pulled the the fire alarm thing. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't Wake up, my, brother. My, my bad, bro. My, Wake my up. fault. Ish. <laughs> But uh, yeah, nah, it was a rough game yesterday. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, yo, but it's Luca, bro. The fuck? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Luca. It's Kyrie. It, the Clay was acting like I he mean, had a Golden State jersey. Team. That was a hell of a team. Yeah, yeah. that's a hell yeah. and with Clay. Right. Clay was Clay again. Yeah, yeah again. That's, uh, that's not fair. Hey, y'all make some. Y'all make some noise. Y'all teams want to know. Woo! Oh, oh, it was just me. Oh, yeah. go Lakers! I am a Lakers fan myself. Hey. I am a Lakers fan. Kaiser, for real? Yeah, I've been a Lakers fan forever. Hold on, let me uh, mute him. Yeah. Let me mute him. <laughs> I, I, I think he's getting a little my feedback. My favorite Lakers point guard besides Magic Johnson is Nick Van Exel. Man. Yeah, talk. That's my guy right there. For real? Yeah, I love Nick the Quick. Man. I love that dude, yeah. man. He's my guy. Dude. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Antonio oh, Daniels did it first though with the long side. Here he go. Here he go. <laughs> Watch Antonio Daniels at uh, gyms. <laughs> He eating Jim's burgers right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he got the nerve, he got the nerve to call Antonio Daniels the real. He calls him the real agent. That's the real agent. He's at Jim's. 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 He's at Nah, um, just talk, man. You're good too, man. Anybody <laughs> make the NBA, you gotta be good. No, nah, you yeah, you gotta. Everybody be clowning everybody in the NBA, but nah, you gotta be, you gotta be a prospect. Nah, even be nah there, listen, even I, a bench player. I, I got, yeah. I have a story when uh, hooping with uh, Anthony Carter, former point guard of the Spurs, and mm. of course he was like third string, but I seen him out at a, at Golds putting up buckets yeah. one day, and I was like, oh shit, like, oh, everybody <laughs> like, yeah. like he may be third string on the Spurs, but he out here yeah. starting out here at, at right. Golds, you know what I'm saying? He's starting out he's here, starting at Golds. <laughs> Doing thirty, <laughs> you're making it look easy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, baseball, y- and y- y- y'all pay attention to baseball or not? Nah, nah, really. nah, not I think really. they need to add an extra base to baseball, <laughs> <laughs> like a robot pitcher or something like that, dude. Like, there needs to be yeah, some no, sort I'm of just, danger. It's cool uh, when you're at a game. You know? It's cool when you're at a game. Thank you, dude. Kaiser. Okay, when you're at the game, it's cool as hell. But it's when cool. you're watching it on TV, it's, it's boring. It's, it's, as shit, it's a dude. struggle. Yeah, it's a struggle to watch it on TV for sure. But yeah, being there is different because I've been I've been to a Dodgers game. Mad fact. Story time. Uh, I went to a Dodger game during the uh, the Rodney King riots. Mm, okay. Like, right when it was about to right, right when shit hit the fan. Yeah. So, that was crazy. And then, um, at Houston Nationals game. Okay. And it was cool. I was like, both both events were super tight. But watching on TV, yeah, it's kind of a struggle. Yeah. Yes. I went to uh, Texas Rangers versus Seattle Mariners. When, nice. When Griffey, Ken Griffey Jr. played. Ooh. And at the time, I was into baseball, and I was a Mar- big Mariners fan. Yeah. I want to say uh, Randy Johnson was their pitcher, too, at the oh, time, Oh, man. And I got to meet... Griffey and Randy and all them, like, yeah, as a kid, I think I was, like, 12, 11 or nice. 12. And, like, like, that was my dream or whatever, you know? Yeah. And 
And then I don't think I watched baseball after that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no relation to that. But, yeah. you know, being at that game was amazing. And then, of course, you know, I've been to, like, missions games, of course. But, For sure. You know, was yeah, missions. Um, Ice cream in the baseball hat. <laughs> Watch, watching little kids chase that, uh, what is it, the puffy taco? that puffy taco. The puffy taco, taco that's yeah. right. <laughs> Henry? <laughs> right. They, they, I, mean, I haven't so been to a missions game in a minute. I, I want to go, but sometimes, like especially, like a, they play like in the yeah. summer, don't they? Yeah. It's too hot, bro. I'm sorry. They entice people with uh, dollar beers dollar or something beers. like that. I, I mean, I don't drink beer, but, you know. Me neither, so. That flying chocolate hat is dope, though. I got one. Fire. That shit is dope. Fire. Yeah. That's a fire hat, yeah. Yeah. for sure. Yeah. Football? Uh... I, I, I guess I don't watch football, but if I did, it'd be a Cowboys fan and shit. Like, wow. I guess it'd be a Cowboys wow. you know, fan. <laughs> he was a Cowboys fan. I guess it'd be the Cowboys, but I yeah. don't know. I, I haven't watched football since like probably like the last time they won a championship. Michael Irvin seems like a good time, though. <laughs> to be Michael honest, yeah, he's a party like, animal. Yeah, like, it would have been so dope to kick it with Michael Irvin in the 90s. Dude. Like, yeah. I bet that shit would have been cool as fuck, dude. Right. But nah, I, I I don't watch football. I I I always thought they should draft that robot for him from the Fox game. Oh like, shit! Dude, yeah, that that'd be right crazy, there, dude. Like I, every time I watch football, I'll be like, when is that guy gonna come out? Dude? Yeah, like, sub him in, dude. Nah, like, the Cowboys need him. That mutant league football shit. Dude, like, <laughs> mutant league. Football. I think I, I think I only watch the Cowboys so I can um talk shit to my family because they're all Cowboys uh, fans. Oh, nice, yeah. I'm not a Cowboys fan. Uh, I'm not really, I don't really have a team, yeah. you know, because I don't really watch it. However, you know, I do gamble. I do okay. gamble. So, I mean, yeah, I have yeah, to pay yeah. attention to sports in some form. For you know? sure. Uh, however, yeah, I think it's, it's. Uh, I watch the Cowboys to hate on them. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, that's crazy, but yeah. whatever, you know. Yeah, nah, I, I really don't watch football like that neither, but I've always said, like, I have a team that's like, I'm, like, guilty by association. Who's your team, Who's your team then? So it's the Raiders. The Raiders. Yeah, Are, and that's because I got with family. With the Vegas Raiders and all that so shit? So, like, back when they were the L.A. Raiders, like, because mm -hmm. my, my, my family's from L.A., mm -hmm. so they were diehard Raiders fans, like Marcus Allen and all yeah. those guys were playing. So, like, then when they moved to Oakland, they, they were still Raiders fans to the end, but then even when they moved to Vegas, still Raiders fans. But obviously, you know, there was a time when they were getting ready to move the Raiders here to, to the city. Yeah. And uh, my cousin's gone to the phone with me immediately. It was like, say, because, like, if if they pull up to San Antonio, like, we got a place to stay, right? And I'm like, I, I guess, dog. Are you, are you <laughs> bullying me right now over the phone? Like, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, y'all got a place to stay. Cool, I guess. But Am I allowed to say no? <laughs> right. <laughs> Do I say no right now or am I going to get beat up? I don't know which one. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so they've been Raiders fans to the end. So I kind of just been rocking with them because they family and all that. So like, I always wonder if they had, like, fantasy drafts back then if Bo Jackson would have been the dude, dude. Like, oh, my God. Like, he would have went number one every year. Yeah, that was a bad motherfucker. Dude. Absolutely. You, you seen the, the, the 30 for 30, Hell right? yeah, dude. <laughs> That motherfucker dunked a tree branch. <laughs> I was like, yo, what the fuck is that shit? Like, they, they said that he's like the last guy with Urban Legends. Yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> Jumped over a car and shit. Like, it's like, come on, dude. Nah, what Jackson. can't he do? Right, like, exactly. What can't he do? On the side of a car. Not like, he jumped over the side of a car. That's fucking amazing. He did yeah. a backflip out of a pool. I was like... <laughs> Had his own cartoon. This guy's fucking had his own cartoon. Cartoon, oh, his own video dude. game. I mean, oh, even, yeah, Pro Stars, dude. <laughs> even what? even the legend of Tecmo Bowl. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Dude, I was fucking unbeatable. Nice unbeatable. Dude, nice. Game, unbeatable. Dude. Yeah. yeah dude. I, I think uh, me and my older brother used to fight because yeah. uh, we have a rule: nobody could pick that team. Pick that team. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. Because you ain't you ain't you ain't winning nah, against that team. Not against that team. Nah, and you're not yeah. losing right. with that team. <laughs> it was a cheat sheet. For sure. Cheat code. For sure, for sure. And then also here on, on, on the on the What's Really Good segment, Lil Dirt locked up by the feds. I'm not sure if y'all heard, but this man was arrested and charged for a hit in retaliation of King Von's death. Was that? That wasn't in the King Von story I saw. <laughs> hey, that's a fucking badass Wait, man, story, dude. Wait, man, man dude, uh, I didn't know nothing about King Von. Like, I swear, dude, I got to check this shit. I don't know nothing about this yeah, shit. Yeah, man, so King Von. the King Von, Von story is fucking so crazy. King, yeah, the King Von story just alone and his upbringing was crazy. Was it Trap Enough. Lord Ross? Is that the guy? Yeah, <laughs> that, don't get me started about Trap Lord dude, Ross, dog. Dude, like, okay. <laughs> but anyway. Trap Lord Ross is insane, dude. Because that's what I'm... Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, so, weird dude. I was right, like, what's, so, what's going on here? Yeah. So obviously, King Von his upbringing. If people know him, he was like literally Chicago's boogeyman. Yeah. You know, he he was really living what he lived in his raps. He was whatever he did in his raps, he did that. Yeah. Um. So obviously in Atlanta, he was he was killed. He had his untimely demise, 
and uh, another uh, rival rapper by the name of uh, Quando Rondo was involved. Okay. Right. And I, allegedly he did it because of self-defense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At least that's, that's how the story goes. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so then with this story, what they're saying is, you know, Lil Durk being tied with King Vaughn and then being so tight um, had pretty much placed a hit Ooh. on Quando Rondo. So I'm going him in L.A. They tried to, you know, take that man out, but they ended up getting Quando Rondo's cousin and got him knocked off. So now, here we are, fast forward. They picked up the guys that did the the, the shooting for Quando Rondo's cousin, and now Dirk's involved. I guess lesson learned, you can't get away with shit now, dude. Like, there Man, his, his man's had a wire, right? Yeah, but yeah, that, was, right. that was the update I heard recently, yeah. that for two years, one of his mans had a wire. Two oh, yeah, years. Yeah, I didn't know yeah, yeah. that. In the, in the wow. inner circle, so see, they got really everything. Read, yeah, I didn't read into this too much, but I did see that update like a couple hours They got hours everything, ago. bro. Oh, he's, oh, he's like, cooked. GG's then. Like, Good game. Like, Facebook is eating this story up. Yeah. Like, you know, the battle rap community is eating this story oh, up. Man. You know, that's how, that's actually how I found out about yeah. it, you know, and... Uh yeah, wow. The, the flips you're about to hear, right, Spy? Hey. Oh man. I mean, I, I, honestly, I kind of hate current event bars. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, oh, you just thought of this, didn't you? Right. You thought of this on the way here, right? Because <laughs> it's gonna have a lot of uh, unoriginality to it. Sure. Know? But you know, nah. Aside from that, yeah, that's how I found out about this. That's pretty crazy, though. That's uh, tough. You, know, you never know who your man's is. Nah, for sure. That's true. That's true. Can't trust nobody, bro. We all seen the wire. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, I see what you did there, Scrooge. Hey, hey, you, oh, hey sign me up. Nah, okay. <laughs> hey yo, you. Not, I said yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. And then, oh, that's right. This is also Halloween week. The day this drops is Halloween week. Hey, what, are y'all doing anything for Halloween? Uh, yeah, probably. Besides, y'all are scaring yeah. rappers already, but you hey. know. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you. Halloween. Sign uh, us uh, up. Yeah. Hey. Spooky <laughs> scary. Twelve years ago, we're on Halloween. Twelve years ago on Halloween, I dropped my debut project, mm -hmm. uh, solo project, Unfinished Business, mm. fully produced by Moon Doctor. Mm. It's only been on Bandcamp Shout and physicals. Yes. Shout out Moon Doctor. He yes. also engineered the Bad News Bears project. Too. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and the friends of Jabbar. And the friends of Jabbar. Johnson. And friends of Jabbar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's very fire at it. Uh, mixed on the moon on IG. If y'all need that work. Um, mm. But yeah. 12 years ago on Halloween, you know, I dropped Unfinished Business. It uh, features MC Juice, features uh, Sean Anonymous from Minnesota, mm -hmm. Philip Morris from Chicago, and, uh, oh, what's my homie's name? Uh, dope Singer, used to be part of, of uh, like, a death metal or, you know, kind of heavy metal band. We got you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm finally putting that out on all streaming platforms this holiday. Hey, that's what's all up, right. Yeah. Got to always come back after, full circle, after man. After 12 years, man. And yeah. I don't know why yeah. I never did it, you know, but whatever. Hey, man, sure. Tommy gets everything, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, what else am I doing that day? That's what, what a Thursday, Friday? Might Thursday. The Thursday floor or something like that. I'm 13th getting, floor? I'm getting ready for that 100th episode show. Girl. Yes. <laughs> I said I'm doing we'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get to yeah, that. that that's, that's Friday, November 1st, okay, you know what I mean? Okay. Um, yeah. I haven't done a haunted house since I've been banned from Nightmare on Elm, or get, Nightmare on Grayson. How do you get banned? I punched one of them in the face. Wow, that's a good way. Did it touch you? <laughs> he got close. Happened? Oh shit! He got close, and I went when I wasn't ready. Was I like, wasn't <laughs> ready. I don't think you're supposed to be ready at those places. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I wasn't ready. Like that's to see. Okay, so Yo, what? me, me. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. Who did you punch oh, first of all? Which guy? Like, was it like a random zombie dude, or was it like someone cool? <laughs> With some female ghost, guys. Freddy, yeah. You beat up a Freddy Krueger, that'd be cool. No, but, no, but, see, no, no see, actually, it'd be cool if you fucked up a random one. Like no, one okay, so, so he looked like Freddy. I don't know if it was actually okay. Freddy, but he looked like him. And the way he turned the corner, it looked like he, it looked like he popped out late. <laughs> you, know, you know how sometimes you can see what's happening ahead, and you're like, all right, this this dude's going to pop out. I'm ready for it. This dude's pop I'm ready for it. Yeah. I wasn't ready for this one. So, like I said, I think his jump was delayed. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. And then, like, he jumped down. I just, like, turned and went right. And then did that his, was it. Did his glove fall off? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I just punched him in the face. And, and he was in character, right? So, I hit him in the face. And he just instantly just got out of character. He's like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and he just grabbed me. And I'm like, no, don't touch <laughs> Because that was my next question. How long did it take him to get break character? Because no, no, if instantly. he didn't break character for a little while, I'd have been fucking gangster. No, nah, listen, he, no, he deserves an Oscar if he didn't break character. I bet he didn't see that coming. <laughs> and, and, and I was like, I was like maybe like 12, Whoa. like 12, 13. 
Right here. This is exactly what happened. No, probably. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like he had some time to think about it, though. <laughs> That's exactly how Mozzie stepped. Oh, but, but, he, had but, but, to, he had to my, size him up first. But like my, no, my, my right was way quicker. I'll be honest with you, because I was just like I said, I was I wasn't ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, a quick reflex, quick reflex, and then I got drug out of there. And they were yeah. like, "Yeah, you can't come back." Dang. And ever since then, I was just figured like from twelve to I'm thirty eight now. Like I was just banned. I mean, I know. Race is closed now, yeah, but exactly. I thought I, I thought it was banned for life. Like, nah. don't ever come back. Hey, shout, <laughs> hey, shout out Bess, I'm in. Yeah, That's yeah. what we still go to Grayson. We still go, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on the, what's up? I'm outside. Yeah. I'm outside. What's happening? <laughs> Pull up on me. You know what I mean? <laughs> also, voting. Hit the polls. Yeah, Carcetti. Carcetti's running. Another Joe Hendry. Wire reference. <laughs> Joe Hendry. <Carcetti. laughs> um, so, yeah. So, let me show y'all something, bro. This shit is wild, though. I, this whole time, I'm thinking, like, ah, people are smart, you know? Like, I think I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Like, we saw what Buddy did. This, yeah, this poll I saw was, like, it's it's a it, they called it a coin flip. Everybody likes Arnold Palmer's, dude. That's what <laughs> was, was happening. Hey. <laughs> I fucking love Arnold Palmer's, bro. <laughs> like, Man. <laughs> Damn, bro. Oh, dog. Obama went on and did Eminem fucking impersonation. This guy goes on. <laughs> Like, hold on. Hold my honor, Palmer. <laughs> I'm sorry. This shit is all a joke to me. Yeah. This shit is not funny, dude. No, nah, like, listen, I keep telling you. From a comedy show ever. standpoint, this shit is fucking I'm great. telling you, I wake up every day and convince myself more and more we live in the Twilight Zone, yeah. dog. Like, welcome, in the Matrix. welcome to today's episode of America. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dog. Like... This is insane, bro. I just every day I wake up, nah, 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 nah. it's just like, yo, yeah, no, what so, am I gonna see today? Hey, all my homies that live like out of this country, yeah, they just be watching and just like shaking their heads, like, yo, we yeah. cannot believe what is going on. Over yeah, there. no, like, I got a partner that lives in Germany right now, and he's just like, dog, it's a, what what's going on? It's a parody. Like, how does this fall in the history books in like Ooh. fifty years? Oh man, <laughs> they ain't gonna talk about it. They're nah. gonna skip this part exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep it under the rug, hit the delete button. You know what it I mean? It never mad, happened. Mad backspaces, like ah, nah, I'm not doing this. Now nah, this is definitely being in the history books, dude. Like right? there is gonna be a biopic on Homeboy. It's oh, the biopic is gonna be it's gonna insane. Be, yes, it's gonna be shit, dude. Like, oh, it's gonna be funny. Hey, yo, no. it's, it's probably already it's, filmed. Dude, he's oh, gonna be yeah, shooting sure. on it right now. Dude, like somebody's it's gotta be Will Ferrell, dude. He's got <laughs> <laughs> It's gotta be Will Ferrell. <laughs> and they gotta do the paper towel scene, dude. Yeah. Like, the paper towel yeah. for the Rico dude. Like, that's all we gotta see, dude. That's all. Dude, no, that was nice, though. I can't even point. He did like, <laughs> He did the like, Yo. That was that bar scene basketball hoop. Yo, you know, like, that, that, that and the form, he, he did flick the wrist on yeah, the follow through, right? He like, said, this guy He here. was like, this has gotta be on a biopic, dude. Like, everything, dude. Like,. <laughs> It's gonna be fire, dude. One day. Dude. Oh man, yeah. Pull, pull it up, dog. Cause, yeah, hey, nah. Cause that. Please, you gonna show that right now? Yes. Dude, yeah. Yes. Come on, man. Yes. <laughs> Paper towels. The public yeah. needs it. Yes. Dude. Yeah, dude, look, look at the form. The follow through. This guy here, man. He should have played on the game opener for God. the Spurs. <laughs> right. Yeah, I should have put him off the God, bench. Yeah. Yo, pass me the rock. Let's <laughs> <God. laughs> go. Dog. Look at the oh, wrist. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, that shit is wild, man. That is wild, bro. So I don't uh, need no grip, dog. Look, 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 right here. Look, look, at, look the at the form. Huh. Ah, that's that's all wrist. That's all Dude. wrist, bro. Y'all wasn't Crazy, shooting man. with him in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> like, me and my yeah. homie was talking about, I was like, is Bush, like, who's funnier, Bush or Trump? And I was like, Bush is like Bill Murray. And then Trump is like... <laughs> Will Ferrell, dude. Like, <laughs> we love Bill Murray. Bill Murray's funny. Right. But Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell, got, he got like, it, man. That's crazy <laughs> shit, dude. Oh, oh man. Wow. But yeah, get out there and vote. Get yeah, there get out there and vote. Get out there and vote, people. Carcetti, dude. He's on. Carcetti. Oh, man. Was it Carcetti versus Gray? Right? <laughs> Carcetti, dude. All right. Okay, now, here we are. Man, what a time. What a time. Music in 96 might be the peak of the golden era. These artists were fighting for the charts. That's an actual caption that I took from this post. But if you start at the first slide, yes. 
All these songs came out in 96. Okay. Classic. Oh, we, we would never get another Fuji's album. It's a Queen's thing. Come on! Oh, Hello, Cool J. Pong chocolate on the girl's leg. On the leg? <laughs> in public? Yeah, man. That was sick. Like, you wild, Damn. Hey! With the leather Let's vest. Go. Right. With the leather vest. You can't. The leather vest pocket is undefeated. You can't jump the pool with that shit, dude. That shit be tight as fuck. <laughs> can't wear that nowadays. <laughs> can't be wearing that so, nowadays. Oh, oh my god. Joint came out in 96. Hey. Let's go. Return of the Mac. Who is it? Oh, Mark, Mark Morrison. Mark Morrison. This song will always get played, dude. Every, Every yeah. Yeah. Timeless. This is the definition of timeless. Yo, Tommy to Richmond hey, could we got, never. We got to flip that. We got to <laughs> flip hey, that phone in the joint soon. Right. Yeah, Tom, yeah, Tommy Richmond could never. You are absolutely right. This song gets played at least once every oh. hour. Hey! Come on. Let's go. Hey. The original. What's that dance the kids are doing now? Listen, dude, this is another cool. joint. You, you played it, you put this on? This was Hot Cheetos back in the day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this was Hot Cheetos, dude. Oh, hey! man. Yo, bring back the racing jackets, though. The jackets were Come fresh, on, dude. man. The racing jackets were fly. Damn. In Vogue? Woo! Let's go. Yeah, Don, dude. Classic. Don Robinson. Yeah. That's crazy. It's a classic now. Yeah. That's right. Wild. All yeah, this yeah. is vintage. Uh, <laughs> Tease me. Case was it was milk and Mary J, dude. Uh, Dog. Case. Dude. <laughs> Dog. Like, Kev, what a Kevin Federliner, dude. Like, <laughs> did you see his budget? He had like an Xbox budget, dude. Like, I saw like where he was going, like Case is the man. Shout out to Case, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> Aaliyah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. RP. Oh, this is post R. Kelly. Yes. I'm gonna cry. When, when, R. Ke when, when R. Kelly was out of there and Aaliyah made better records. Let's be real. Yep. Mm, yeah, you ain't lying. But I'm she said that she's still running with the leather, though. I love it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, leather in the 90s. Oh, is shit. Oh. Bust it. Let's go. Bust it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna leave Bust alone, too. I love Bust. We'll leave Bust nah, alone. Listen, Bust. We'll leave Bust alone. I, I got my opinion about Bust, but I'll yeah, leave for so another come for another day. Yeah. Did he pioneer that, like, that fish eye right there. That fish the eye. Fish eye lens that, and that the fish eye lens in the video? Yeah. He absolutely had to yeah. have. <laughs> but I gotta be strong. Come on, girl. Girl, you did me wrong. They don't do it like this no more. Let's <laughs> go. Ain't nobody begging no more. Oh, this video is so, so oh, awesome. Right? Dude, dude, like, the camel toe shots in this video? Let's <laughs> go. I ain't doing it for research purposes. Everybody knows about if Nah, no, back in the day, camel toe shots, dog. Oh, yeah, right was, there, dog. Like, let's go. <laughs> right there, dude. Like, full young frontal. Kaiser was like, yo, chill, 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 chill. Full frontal. SWV? Oh, this is my hey. jam, dude. Yo, knee pads? <laughs> knee oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah, knee pads. That's how you know they really about the dance. Pat Ewing? Facts. The, the Pat, Pat Ewing? Ewing? The Pat Ewing? <laughs> <laughs> Tough. Hey. Hey. What's up? What's Dog, up? You know what? There was some suspect stuff going on during that time. Hey, hey this, this man cannot dance like that anymore. I don't <laughs> no, know why he still no. tries. Hey, a for effort, though. For sure. That pony song. I, I seen, like, gangsters roll up with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, like, yo, what are y'all doing? Yeah, Fox Brown. I I got I got a. It's weird, bro, because I love Foxy Brown. Yo, yeah, but when she yeah. was popping, like Bad. she was sixteen, bro. Yeah, you right. never really thought about it right. back then, though. That's the crazy part. And, I didn't and, really think and some about of the shit then. that she was saying on Reasonable Doubt, I didn't even know she was sixteen. Was, was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but she said yo, she nah, liked nah. it, bro. On the ass. Big facts. <laughs> she did say that on the track, dog. Well, Sean Price said that she said that, but she did say that. <laughs> right. Seven oh two. 702 is bad, dude. One of the most, one, to me, one of the more underrated yeah. R&B groups for sure. I like the joint with her, them and Missy, too. That, mm. Yeah. Man. So, listen, I think music videos are, are, they need to take out all that visual graphic shit out. Right. And they just need to bring back, like, look at the transitions, bro. The fades. No, yeah. but nobody's crying out of the looking window, out the window no more. No one's <laughs> looking out the window pane and crying. Like, I mean, hey. if there's one song that, you know, Bear With Us needs to 
Dude, you got to sure cry out the window. Got, I know y'all got to <laughs> cry out the window. <laughs> I can see Spider-Man hey, looking hey. out the window just wrapping his ass off while it's raining. Listen, and just, let me and shoot now it. what's going to be happening is I'm going to be like driving by in a car and whack rappers going to be in the window crying like, yeah, yeah we wish we had bars <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Man, yeah, nah, what a time. What a time, man, for sure. I, I mean, people... That's a, that's another thing I noticed too. Like when it comes to music videos, like people just they're not creative no more. They let the the editor just do the crazy editing, and while it looks cool, it looks fire. It's just there's no creativity behind the video. It's just them rapping. Listen, when that young kid out. is out there just swinging left to right and with the Uzi, yeah, that's true. I, I haven't I haven't <laughs> dropped a music video in like a couple years, mm. but when I get back to it, there's gonna be some stories dropping for sure. Bet. Please, uh, yeah. because you know I'm trying to give y'all a visual, something to y'all can watch. I mean, yeah, rapping is whatever you know, but you know, I'm trying to give you something to we need watch. The, we need the while picture painting. Listen, exactly. You know, tired yeah. of watching rappers in front of cameras and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. No offense if you still do that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's the creativity? Facts. You know? Yeah, there's very few that are doing that. That yeah, they're, they're storytelling rather on on. The visual media. Yes. Hey, shout out to the videographers that also uh, serve as directors and have to come up with everything. When, yes, the, uh, when the artist is not prepared or does not have an idea, I will always have an idea, you know. But, or, you know, if you're one of those artists, a start, coming up, start coming up with ideas, you know, because yep. that's going to yeah. make the job easier for the person filming. Yes. And, yeah, that's, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Absolutely. 100%. <clears throat> New drops. A lot of new drops happened between, you know, I think it's last time we filmed and now. Uh, Bandsworth yeah. Belly, San Antonio's own, 24 Hours, one of my favorite songs out right now. Salute. At least a hundred times. Got a show coming up November 16th. November 16th, yes, sir. Say salute. Yes, sir. Yeah, he could. I mean, I don't know if you saw his just rap episode in yeah, season yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Bamsworth? Bamsworth, Bamsworth Belly. Yes, sir. Belly. I've I, seen I him. Uh, thinking you're saying Bins, uh, Bonsworth Bentley, Bentley? Yeah. Right? Like, so yeah. Bamsworth Bentley. Okay. Yeah. Bamsworth. Okay. Yeah. Bamsworth Belly. Yes, sir. Bad. Yeah, I've hours. never seen him live. Uh, oh, I've, seen, on... I've seen him on shows. Like I've seen him on flyers, and and mm. uh, of course I've seen him on uh, just rap and shit. So. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the few artists. Yeah, he's one of the few artists, man. That he was on here too. Yeah, yeah. Live, he's he's just as good. I think. Yeah. As if you just hear now, his music. Stacks, though. God damn. <laughs> yeah. AJ Stacks, yeah. salute. On the way. Yeah, on the way for uh, sure. Nice. My girl, Nia, uh, was it Nisha? Out of Jersey. Unruly. Where'd you say out of Jersey? I can tell. Yeah, the, the sound, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. This, this don't. If you want me, not off for me. Christian Dior me. If you adore me. Mazi, you going to work with this? <laughs> bars. Mazi, you going to work? Yeah, you Absolutely. You got this shit turned up? Yeah, Absolutely. Bars. And then Paula? Nah, look. Nah, <laughs> check it. So, like, there was, and people, <sighs> all right. I'm about to put you on. When it comes to Nisha, she's a Grammy Award winning songwriter, mm. right? And y'all may not know about her now, but she wrote for Beyonce. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, what? Well. Now, nice. now all the females, oh, look, I'm look amnesia because she wrote for Beyonce. You know, you know the Beyonce effect. But yeah, she, I think she, uh, she won a Grammy, I think, for the work she did for Beyonce, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. But yeah, she's a yeah songwriter. She's been. Uh, she also produces too, and she makes beats, and her beats are pretty fire. Love it, man. Yeah, shout out Nisha out of Jersey. You know what I mean? Got her hometown street named after her as well. Now, my dog Shredder. Bro, one of my favorite artists right now. Out of Melbourne, Australia. I got connections to these artists. Appreciate it, yeah, appreciate it, man. Yeah, she's she's dope. I, I found her. Uh, no, she's from Australia. She's from Australia. Oh, okay. I thought she was local. I was like, oh shit, we gotta work for her. <laughs> nah, nah. Now nah, she's out of Australia, man. Um, I, it's an I, email away. You got some beats. I mean, she's working with people. Um, but yeah, she. Um, <laughs> Kaiser, you got R and B beats? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we we can make it happen. That's, okay. Duly, yeah, I mean, duly make noted. it happen. Uh, you know, we got the connections. You know? Yeah, yeah. facts. I'm sure you can send something to her, man. Get your people in contact with our people. Yeah, yeah. yeah make something. And, and speaking of connections, <clears throat> let me do this introduction right. <clears throat> So, obviously, we see Summer Walker there, Heart of a Woman. Yeah. One of the bigger R&B artists right now. Yeah. 
Mozzie World alumni, Tavares Jordan, got his placement on that song right there. Bye. So, shout out Tavares. Bye. Mm. Peanut butter, meat, jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Tavares is perfect on this, bro. Fast. And vice versa. This got that. Nice and what he did, he produced this? Yes. Yeah. He, he produced oh. and wrote it. Or co wrote with like Summer. It. Yeah. Yeah, and he's based out of uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. So he did a lot of work with, uh, what is it, LES? With, with LES, with Les. And uh, which is crazy, too, because he's talking about Best Week Ever. <clears throat> he got this song, I Was Summer Walker, that dropped. Um, and then next week, he has a full project that he produced for Les dropping on the 29th. Mm. And that's called Gourmet. So, yeah, he's having a hell of a run mm. right now. Kill it, kill it. And then out of the city. But by the way of L.A. By the, yeah, by the way, L.A. Uh, Converse is on. North East was happening. Uh, Angel Syndrome. Um, Dropped her album. I it's met, I met ever. her, I want to say it was like 2018 or 17. Yeah. And she played one of my events that I threw at this place called Sabina's Coffee House. And it was a little small event, you know, it wasn't too big. And all of us were blown away. Like, I think yeah. she was there with her pops or something like that. She um, could sing, dog. She could go. She's been fire ever since then. And, you yeah. know, what she's doing now, you know. Yeah, man. She Shout out to her and her team, you know. Her album dropped, but this record here. <laughs> called mess yes it, to me it's the standout of the of the album i know it, it's not it's not a knock but i think i expected mess all over gotcha. the album you feel me right but what she gave us was range she gave us pop records she gave us rock records she gave us r&b r&b records so like if her goal was to show Right, the labels or whoever to showcase the what powers. She yes, do. exactly to showcase her range. Yeah, did that yeah. tenfold. You know what I mean? But it's a great album. It's called Five Ever. Go cop uh, that right now. Yeah, so definitely dope. Angel Centrone, uh Mozzie World alumni too. Man. Yes, Mozzie World alumni as well. Shout and out to Angel. Yeah, for shout shout out Angel. She's supposed to be coming back too, so she'll be yeah. spending the block here, landing on Mozzie's World. And for all you gamers out there, Call of Duty. We back shooting up shit. Y'all already know. <laughs> Add me, <laughs> Trill Smith. You heard it, you know. Oh, uh, you on that too? Yes, sir. What do you think I'm gonna do when I go home? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I tried playing this one, bro. I'm that dude that's spinning around just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah. real talk. Uh, it's been a, uh, over six years since I've tried running any campaigns. Yeah, I just been, you know. Multiplayer war zone, you know. Yeah. I just been in the zone getting those dubs or I'm, trying to or getting frustrated. I'm excited three. about this campaign, though. <laughs> no, I think this campaign is going to be one of the better ones for like in a long time. And uh, especially since they got, they got Bill Clinton in here, dog. What? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm checking this out. <laughs> true? Those are some, those are some cool times. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> right I mean, not for everybody, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm checking this out, man. So, yeah, if you're on Xbox, it's on Game Pass. So, if you have Game Pass, download it now. So my, my stuff was downloaded before, right, right when I left here. So, it should Oh, you be left the download? Wait, is I it left the out, download. It's out today? It's out right now. Oh, snap. Yeah, because, uh, you know. As, as much of a gamer as I'd like to say I am, I mean, I'm a gamer at heart. I just don't have the time for it. You gotcha. Know? Like, what am I going to do? Go to the studio, work on the song, make this flyer, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Or sit here for four hours and play video games. Heard you. So I need to do more work. Heard you. Yeah. I'm not getting on the game today. But hey, <laughs> hey but sometimes I'll be going to sleep at like four in the morning because after I work, then I, you on I the call of duty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I gotta wake up at three yeah, hours for work. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited about the campaign. That's that's really what I'm I'm excited, oh, excited yeah. about. The multiplayer, all that stuff can wait. Yeah, I'm running the yeah, campaign. Yeah, that's for always sure. there. You know, I, I think yeah. this might be the first campaign I run. To yeah, be for sure. I'm excited. The oh, shit, next week announcements. All right, 100. That's all we need to say. 100. That's how we go, bro. Thank you, Brass, my guy. Appreciate you, man. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I got. Bah. Look, so and, and appreciate you, Spy, for throwing the mean lob yes, sir. for five hundred two. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you, I don't think you advertise it, but I, Spy is tapped in, bro. Yeah, but it's literally some convo, but mostly, mostly vibes. vibes for sure. Fuck yeah, okay. I'll be, I'll be up in that vibing for sure yeah. on on one hundred. 
November 4th. Yes, no, November 1st. November 1st, 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 dropping November 4th. Yes. yes. For sure. And then we're definitely going to try to get some merch to y'all. But if ne- but now, hit the store. The OCDcreates.com is live. Yeah. The OCDcreates.com. Oh, yeah. Get your Mozzie's World's merch. Just rap merch. Appreciate you. Y'all don't, like simplicity, don't, right? Don't. Yeah, Let's yeah, go. Like that. You know what I mean? That's fire. Simple. The OCDcreates.com. Click the Just Rap tab. It's right here. We got y'all. Buy that. You know what I mean? Buy one for your girl. Shoot. You know? Buy one for yourself and lie and be like, yeah, I was on Just Rap and they gave me this shirt. They just haven't aired the episode yet. <laughs> hey, <you laughs> Don't can, believe you, it. You can cash at me $10 and I'll say you were there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and if you're a rapper and your girl don't buy you a Just Rap, she don't believe yeah, you. Yeah, she don't, she don't believe in you. Yeah. Nah, man, go work on that mixtape. What's <laughs> yeah. yeah. well, Before we get up out of here, man, uh, y'all got any, uh, you know, Final thoughts, uh, you know, as far as words, uh, promo, all promo, that stuff. Uh, encourage words of encouragement, all I that. Mean, What's going on? Words of fo- discouragement. Follow us on Spotify, Friends of Jabbar. <laughs> I mean, we're dropping like every Friday. Yeah, right now, every single. Hey, what is Friday. Friends of Jabbar? Real Friends quick. of Jabbar is myself, my man Darby over here, and my boy Jabbar. He's um, a mystery. And they, like, they nobody have, ever sees him. Production. Oh, like Scrooge. That's our production. Like, you, no, you don't. He, nobody sees him. Gotcha. It, we, uh, hey, yeah, it, respect, that, bro. That, this is a whole other hey. conversation later. Like, it'll be like an hour long conversation. It's like the, <laughs> like the <laughs> villain <laughs> and uh, Inspector Gadget. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Yeah. Claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah you going to see him. He does that. Like, he's behind a globe like that. Just the cat. You just need a cat. Yeah, just the cat. Yeah. You just see his hands in the cat. Yeah. That's funny. So, yeah. But, yeah, Friends of Jabbar on Spotify and then Bad News Bears. We're about to drop our project. Yeah, it'll be on all uh, streaming platforms. Right now, we have our first single, Bear With Us, <clears throat> on uh, spymc.bandcamp.com. Okay. Um, yeah. And, and if you like coffee, okay, decent. My man, uh, my man got his own coffee brand, okay, what? decent. What? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, dry yeah. Rub, all that shit. Get you some dry rub, too, for your meats. Pause if needed. Pause if needed. Yeah, pause if needed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, Walking decent. on eggshells okay, here, decent. guy. No, nah, seriously, okay, decent. It's really good, though. That's what's up. Yeah. Hell yeah, That's what's hell up. yeah! And you know, we, we we both got music dropping too separately. Aside from uh, Bad News Bears, like you said, Friends of Jabbar. You look yeah. me up, Spy MC on all streaming platforms. Yeah. Um, I run a battle rap league, Loudmouth League is what it's called. Been a league for twelve years. As I said earlier, we got our next event on November six, uh, November sixteenth at Talk the Starlighter. Um, Loudmouthleague.com. Go to it. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, all social media is at Loudmouth League, spelled the way it is. My social media is I am Spy MC on all platforms, spelled the way it is. Hey Those man, guys. sixteen gonna be kind of busy for us, dog. So we man, gonna do, we I gonna just get, realize that it's we like, gonna pull up here and then fly back over here to go pull, take check the Bam show. Like yeah, we gonna be moving, dog. Charlie boys, Charlie here. boys performing here too. Yeah, hey. man, like yeah. There's a lot going on that day. A lot man. going on, and that's man. really dope. You know, I, there's plenty of food. For everybody at the table, you know, it's a big table in San Antonio. You know, the whole two set separate scenes that y'all were talking about earlier, we got three events of different styles happening in one city. Mm. That also shows how diverse we are, yeah. you know, here in the city, you know, and that's pretty dope. Shout out to everybody putting events that day. Come on, man. <laughs> Can we do that too? Be- <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure I'll figure it out. That so cool. <laughs> Well, see, we appreciate y'all guys, man, for pulling up. And, yes, man. And, and one, one, the, uh, the 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 first one of many. We hope, man, because y'all always yeah. welcome here, man, for real. That's appreciate love. that. And we, family, and we want our platform to be exactly that, man. It's just uh, an open invitation to those that are trying to move the local scene forward, but not just to remain here local. But hey, put us on the next season, though. Me I'll too, battle man. anybody for their slot. <laughs> oh shit! Yes, you will. <laughs> and you will die standing. <laughs> I mean it. Because I know, I know you are. That's the thing. Like I know you're serious. Like <laughs> his big, face, he mean business, dog. Big plans, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah, nah, big plans for season four. Your boy Mozzie, be sure to log on. Y'all can find me at theocdcreates.com. I'll I'll be on the site shopping. I guess <laughs> shop my own merch. Sure, why not? Buy and some stuff. Buy some stuff, man. Support us, and, and that's how y'all support us directly right. is by supporting and copping merch. And uh, November 1st, well, episode 100, 502 Bar. Catch us there. November 16th, whether it's Spy MC with Loudmouth League, Bamsworth Belly, his show on the 16th, TB Robbie and Charlie Boy. Uh, isn't BFR going on that day too? Oh, yeah. On the 16th? Yeah. With, their, com- the with their comedy show? Let's go. Bro, like, 
it's a lot going on in the city. Y'all talking about San Antonio boy. Y'all know we outside with it. I was just it. about to say that. We they outside. They say we ain't got nothing to do here. They got nothing to do here. want to leave y'all's house. And yeah. I get it, because Call of Duty's out. I get hey. it. But put the controller down and go move around. <laughs> yeah, go outside. Go, pick one, go outside. Pick one and go outside. Wash then. your face first. Or <laughs> move around like us. Pick up. Uh, we're going to be here. We're, gonna, I'm, we're definitely going to be. What, what time What time doors open for loud mode? It was 6 like 6, PM. right? We in there. Oh, and yeah. then after that, we're moving around. Choose wisely. Easy. But we outside with it. Your boy Mozzie. Bad News Bears. OCD. Peace. Peace. Mm. So focused. I just need some meaning to my name. Plus, I'm cheating with these codes. If you think it's a game, that's real talk.